very simple to tie. It's a technique. Now. I'll, you could, I'll tie a pheasant tail version as well as a turkey, it's just to show you how quickly and easy they are to tie. Now, you can add weight to the hook if you wish, you could put lead underneath, but I don't. I usually use another fly to control the depth of this one, so maybe a beaded fly or something. Now, as I say, the hook I'm using is a size 16, this is a, a B170. Uh, which is a, a good dry fly hook as much as a good small nymph hook. Thread I'm using, it's the uni thread. This case AO in grey. And I run the wax through it just to give me more grip. Just the ones, you don't need it much more. Just start at the eye and we work our way down right to the back of the hook and then remove the base piece. Turkey, as it's there, just use some of the fibres to bring the fibres 90 degrees from the stem and you'll see how the tips line up and when you do that just I just pull them off or in this case I'm just going to trim it away just make sure the tips are lined up before you tie them on tail you're looking no more than the shank length just slightly less even and a couple of turns to hold it one two and just check the tail length don't have it too long. Now what I'm going to do, I'm use this is going to be for the body, thorax, it's everything, so what I'm going to do is take the thread to the front and then basically we're getting ready to tie in the wire. Now the wire I'm using is an ultra wire by UTC. In this case it's an extra small in red. Red wire was originally used as far as I believe on the original grey goose. Now it was grey lag goose it was used. Now what I'm going to do then is carry one up, take the thread right to about a mil or so from the eye. I'm going to wind the turkey up and wind it towards myself, which is the opposite way from the rib I'm going to be winding and my thread all the way up to the, to the eye. To lock it in what we do is we cross the turkey, do a tight turn, do another one onto the hook cross and then another one to the hook. This locks it in and then we bring our wire rib up through coming into our basically third turn there we want to form the thorax so we, we draw this back we would just carry on taking the wire up to the eye cross the thread a couple of turns, fold it back break it off because it's tucked back it will not pull out then we can fold over the turkey for our thorax cover. A couple of turns now, just at this point, see the shape that you want. Make sure it's slightly spread. If you're happy with that, come in and trim away the excess. A wee bit of wax on my thread, just make sure you have plenty of grip. Form a nice head and get straight in with that finish. Basically that is the simplest nymph you could ever tie. Nothing to it, but very effective pattern, very easy. Uh, ideal within, if you're fishing a beaded fly or a weighted fly, I usually like uh, the, the weighted fly in the middle. Put this off just maybe 18 inches away or so. Then that controls the depth, not too far. You could be slightly closer, but 18 inches, 2 feet is just ideal. And just but cast it upstream and let it drift naturally and you'll, you'll find you'll pick up the fish. Then as I say, we have to varnish the head. Very easy. Now I'm going to tie a pheasant tail one, just to show you a basic pheasant tail. I'm just going to clean the eye. I'll set it on my desk. And I've got a dyed the pheasant tail dyed yellow, natural, which is a nice colour. <laughs> and this time I'm going to change to a, a lighter colour thread. I'm going to use a keyhole thread. In this case, the new Start the thread at the eye again, just exactly the same. Just remove the thread, the base piece, wind down until just before the bend. Get my pheasant tail fibre. 
bring it 90 degrees from the stem, as you can see it lines it up. Just get the tips, the length of the tail that we want, not too long. Just come in with a couple of turns, Oops. make sure it's all for the fibres this end towards myself. So that when I lift the turn up, it lifts the, the fibre on top. Again, bring the thread to this, to the front of the fibre. Now I'm going to use a copper wire, just a fine copper wire for the rib. Extra small. Exactly the same. Full length of the shank. I'll just short to the eye anyway, so that it balances the body, so there's no lumps and bumps to there. Wind your harrow, or wind your pheasant tail. The opposite way. You can take it all the way up. Across the thread, one turn on the pheasant, one turn on the hook. Do the same again. We can bring the rib up into a third turn, which is draw back pheasant tail. Basically, continue ribbing just all the way up. Just going to hold it. Cross your thread with across the rib with the thread. Pull it back nice and tight. You can bend and break away the wire. Always keeping the thread tight, then bring over a thorax cover. Just check the pheasant tail, always make sure it's in. You're looking for that shape, the profile. Now this is a good midge pattern as much as it is uh, a mayfly pattern. You'll still, I've caught many a, a rainbow trout using these for when the midge are coming off, tidy the head up and get straight in with that finish. So that's one tied with the turkey and one tied with the pheasant tail fibre. Turn over your thread. And there we are. What we can do now is we quite a varnish. And there we go. Easy fly to tie. Fill your box in no time, but they're very effective. They'll catch you lots of fish and tie them all sizes, tie them as small as you can and as big as you can and they'll still catch. So I hope you enjoyed that.